everyone, so today I'm doing my first cooking tutorial. It's a no-bake passion fruit cheesecake, and my little brother is recording, so bear with me. What you will need is one cup of icing sugar. You can use whatever brand you want. You're going to need 300 ml of thickened cream. You're going to need Philadelphia cream cheese. I have 250 grams in here and I have two, so that's 500 grams. So it's a passion fruit cheesecake, so I have got some passion fruit pulp. And uh, you can have fresh or you can have canned, you can have pineapple, strawberry, whatever you want. Okay, so let's begin. Okay guys, so I have got my cream cheese in here, so 500 grams of cream cheese. Before we begin with that, you need to make your base. Of your cheesecake and you need to refrigerate that for about two hours prior to making the cheesecake filling and putting it on top so what I've used for that 60 grams of melted butter and half, half a bag of these biscuits they're super wine biscuits and I've just made them into a crumb and then I've mashed it into the base Okay, so first I'm going to start with half my one cup of icing sugar. So I don't want all of it just yet because I need to know how much I'm going to use. I might not use all of it. So I'm mixing it into my cream cheese. I'm using a fork just yet because it's still a bit hard. So make sure it's at room temperature so it's easier to work with. Now I'm going to add one can of my passion fruit pulp. Okay, next I'm going to add, oops. Okay, now I'm going to add my other can. As you can see it's really liquidy so it's going to need to go into the fridge overnight otherwise it'll be too soft to remove from the tin. Okay, now I'm going to add my thickened cream. Probably should have worn an apron. Okay, now I've got my cream in here, so I'm going to mix it all up with my fork, still going with my fork, so I can ensure everything is well combined, and then I'm going to go on with the whisk. Okay, now that everything is mixed, give it a taste. Okay, it tastes good. If you want to add more icing sugar, you can do that. I added a tablespoon more to mine, and now it tastes good. So now you want to add it to your pan. Okay, so now we're going to put it into our little tin. And the base is all hard, so it's been in the fridge for two hours. Now we can put this in.
Okay, so now you've smoothed the top out and it looks all pretty. It's ready to go in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow you can open it up and then put it on a plate. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, hi guys. So yesterday I put this in the fridge. It's been in the fridge overnight. So it looks pretty set to me with a knife. Go around the edges to make sure it's not fully stuck. Making a mess, but what can you do? Okay. Goes up it there. Hopefully it doesn't break when I open it. that there for now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly dress this. I've got some mango slices. Take the nice one. Got some pomegranate. I'm just gonna sprinkle that. So next I'm going to just put some icing sugar all over it and then we're done. Just going to dress it up with some cherries. I think three is good. Okay, so the cheesecake is all done. It's all dressed up. You can dress it up with whatever you want. But <laughs> you can dress it up with whatever you want. Um, I chose fresh fruit. You can do strawberries. You can do chocolate. Whatever you want. So this is the final cake. Okay.